Hi, meet Barry. Barry's married to Jessica. They have a cute little family with two kids, Max and Amy, and a dog called Spike. They're living in California, enjoying the West Coast life. Barry wants to start investing to earn a little bit of extra cash for a family holiday all the way to Europe. He's thinking about investing in Jenny's flower shop. Being a newbie in investing, is there anything important Barry should know about? Yes. Earnings are an important indicator of a firm's performance, and therefore it's super important to know if the earnings number Jenny is reporting is truly reliable. According to a paper written by the Chow and the Chef, the quality of accruals and earnings, the role of accrual estimation errors, earnings equal cash flows plus accruals. Cash flows are quite obvious, but what exactly are accruals? An official definition is, accruals are adjustments for revenues that have been earned but not yet recorded in the accounts and expenses that have been incurred but are not yet recorded in the accounts. For example, accounts receivable and accounts payable. Let's look at Jenny. Jenny, having her flower shop, is selling flowers to Priscilla. Priscilla is about to get married and wants some really nice flowers to cheer up a wedding day. She buys the flowers on credit, since she's already spent all her cash on a beautiful dress. Jenny will therefore create the following journal entry. This is an example of accrual accounting. But how can Jenny be sure that Priscilla is really going to pay? And Priscilla is not the only one. There are more customers that pay on credit. Jenny has to estimate how much of the accounts receivable she will eventually collect. If she fails to estimate the number correctly, errors will arise in the accounts receivable data and therefore the total accrual number will be incorrect. Now, how can we link the situation of Jenny's accrual quality to the paper by the Chow and the Chef? The situation we just explained is an example of an unintentional error. There are also intentional errors where people consciously increase their accruals to create a more positive reality. The paper of the Chow and the Chef is the very first and only paper that investigated both of these errors. So what is their research exactly about? They investigated which characteristics of the firm are good predictors for accrual quality and what exact relation accrual quality has with earnings persistence. For your information, accrual quality is high when there are little estimation errors, so when our lovely Jenny is able to estimate the accounts receivables properly. Earnings persistence is a level of earnings from accounting to accounting period that are continually recurring. For investors like Barry, it's important that the earnings are not too volatile. The Chow and the Chef conducted their investigation using 15,234 firm year observations of 1,725 specific firms starting in 1987 to 1999. Using descriptive statistics, Pearson correlation and regression analysis, they've come to the following. It turns out that the longer the operating cycle, the lower the accrual quality. The smaller the firm, the lower the accrual quality. The greater the magnitude of sales volatility, cash flow volatility, accrual volatility and earnings volatility, the lower the accrual quality. The greater the frequency of reporting negative earnings, the lower the accrual quality. And lastly, the greater the magnitude of accruals, the lower the accrual quality will be. Those were the firm characteristics that impact accrual quality. The second part of the investigation by the Chow and the Chef is what investors like Barry are waiting for. The earnings. How is accrual quality related to earnings persistence? It turns out that a higher accrual quality leads to a higher earnings persistence. Barry is happy with his useful advice. He has taken a look at Jenny's flower shop's characteristics and he concluded that its accrual quality was perfect. He could therefore conclude that the reported earnings number was reliable. He made successful investments and with those profits, Barry, Jessica, Max, Amy and Little Spike have booked their awesome holiday to Europe. Have fun family! Thanks a million for watching! Created using Powtoon.